All right, so I just figured up all my figures. So we got a lot of stuff to do today. If you didn't know, we got all of our planting done. But now it's another busy day. We got a lot of chores to do. Let's get to it. So basically I figured up all my income and everything. We're about at 37,000. We're hurting a little bit here, but that's okay. Uh, the plan is basically I need to go move some of my pigs. So I need to go pick up a trailer. So I'm gonna go purchase a trailer. Uh, the dealership says they're selling one for 15 grand. And that's basically the first thing we got to do today. Oh, uh, did you know I got a new truck here? Pretty snazzy. I know it's not like brand new like some of the farmers around here. And I know far farm hands that are driving $100,000 trucks around here. What are they doing? I used to be a farm hand. I didn't make that much money. I don't know. Anyways, this is about all I can afford right now, or I think all I should afford. But let's get this over and get our trailer here. And this truck sounds so good. A little bit, I don't know, maybe I need to change the shocks in it. It seems like it has a lot of roll. Maybe the shocks, or I have a shock strut out. Never know. But we need to get to town. I really wish my gauges over here worked. They look like they're unplugged. Sometimes then things can uh, come undone or come unplugged or they have a leak in them either or, but too unfortunate. It's a good thing to watch them gauges to make sure your uh, engine is gonna blow and it's running healthy. It's a good looking truck. It's not one of them 2020 trucks I see driving around here but it's good enough for me at least for today the word on the street is uh, Grant is getting in the dealership business I'm really surprised he's building another John Deere I mean basically his John Deere is gonna well I guess he's behind us now but the other one's just right over there it's crazy how close they're gonna be. Uh, of course. Gacy's. Duh. Park up here by all the small cars. Alright. I'm running here. Got us a nice little pizza. Man. Look how tiny them cars are. Our hood is higher than your whole car. It's crazy. Alright, so we need to get a go on here and drive. So basically, need to go to the dealership, pick up our trailer. Should be, yep, right out in front for us. So we'll go and grab that quickly. So, nice. Not as big as some of the other trailers as you see getting pulled around here with the semis, but big enough for our little truck here. So this old Cummins should pull this easily. So we'll get this home and then we're going to use this to transport our breeder pigs over to a breed barn. Looks kind of nice on our truck, I think. Hopefully, I don't know exactly how many pigs we'll be able to get into it. I mean, really, we're moving them a whole, like, block. We probably could just basically uh, round them over there, but pigs are hard to get to go where you want them to, so probably just easier putting them in a the trailer. I'm going to have to unload from the door, basically. So I'm going to have to unload out of the corner here. I'm gonna have to back up right here and round them up. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of piggies in there. 
So now we're going to take these over to the breeding barn. Uh, don't know the best place to be able to load these into the breeder barn. Let's see. Right here. Should be able to just put it right here. And I just gotta crank that trailer over. This truck's brakes just aren't very good. Alright. So now that they are over there. Oh. Man. You guys see this? Whew. This thing is dirty. I need to clean that thing. But first we gotta make sure we take care of our pigs. Alright. So they need water. So we got the pump down, so hopefully that's running. So now we need to go get them some food. Alright, so we got a new mixer over here. So hopefully this thing works nicely with our pigs. So we're going to take it over here and hopefully be able to put it right into our automatic feeder. At least I hope so. Pipe out. There we go got them fed now we just have to go over here a little bit concerned that we won't be able to do this because of these tight quarters it's gonna be tight we can't get it into that one so we're just gonna have to pipe it out and use our little Chevy truck to put it over just leave this over here you don't know this is a little grinder mixer so this will mix up your pig food and make it nice for you so perfect mixture got a little scale right there so it's kind of nice we'll drive this over there you go fill that up there All right, I think we're full now. Now all we have to do is take this over, dump this into our new little piggies. There we go. Now we gotta put this under back into our shed for the overhang. I think. Oh, first off, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna hook up to the water trailer, fill them up with water. For whatever reason, that pump seems to be uh, dry pumping. All right, pull this over, fill this up these up with water don't definitely don't want them running out of water they won't survive long all right so now we will go put this under the overhang Should be done with our chores, animal chores. So if you don't know, we've been borrowing the 8R with the loader tractor on it. So we're gonna kind of have to give that back. Kind of thinking I can hopefully get a demo from Grant. Uh, I just want to see if I can get a demo. So the 8R and the the land all disc 
are on demo, so I'm going to take them back quickly. First off, I have to get this all set up. Put away. Don't want this pig food getting wet. So we are going to back this up in there. Ooh. There we go. A little bit hard to back up. we go. Alright. Finally, the chores are done. So if you don't know, the loader stay, and I'm going to buy that from uh, Buck. So we'll go purchase that. We just have to unhook it there. So we are going to back this out. So this is a 8370R, and I'm thinking, according to Grant, he is going to let us demo a 84R with a Pro Tail. John Deere just came out with a Pro Tail, so I am pretty interested in uh, trying it out. I think it's a 35 foot. Pro till, but I know usually you should uh, truck these and put them on a semi trailer. But just for saving time's sake, we are going to road this down the road and take it back over here. Man, it looks like Jake still doesn't have that field planted there. We have time later on today. I'm gonna give him a call and see if uh, he wants to some assistance in planting. And we're just going by Jake's other field here. One with his island. We actually planted that last year. One of the first things we did. Man. He doesn't even have that planted either. Man, looks like Jake can use some help over there. It's kind of nice when you have a tractor that goes 32 miles down the road. That has uh, shock suspension on it, air ride suspension in the seat, air ride cab, and front suspension. That is easy driving down the road. Didn't have this when I was younger, that's for sure. I don't know, it looks like Platte Valley's doing a little changing up over here. Looks like they've changed some stuff up over here. They're definitely moving around. That's probably why Buck isn't available today. Oh man, they got... Grant's got everybody up in the uproar over here. I think I'm just going to leave this right here for them. Shouldn't be an issue, I hope. I'm gonna call my wife and have her pick me up. I don't see, these look like busy bees around here, so I better not bother them. Oh, I do need to go buy that loader though. All right, so 20 grand later, the loader's ours. Man, that loader's are expensive nowadays. So hopefully I'm just gonna sit here uh, I'm gonna wait for my wife. It's kind of an uproar in there. They're really nervous with Grant starting a business, so they have all everybody pinging in there. So I just don't like hanging out. So I'm gonna hang over here by the mailbox. Just got a ride back from my wife, so I'm gonna grab this Mack truck. So we're gonna go down and pick up the demo from Grant's place. I. Uh, where did I leave my trail? Oh yeah, I left it over there by the other farmyard. So I think I'm gonna take O Red here. Red going to a John Deere dealership. Is that sacrilege? I don't know. I think they'll allow me. Being I'm about ready to buy a five hundred thousand dollar tractor, maybe. 
least 500,000 if you figure the implement that it's pulling. So it's about there. We're obviously not going to start out there, that's for sure. So it's kind of weird, I know. I'm pulling a trailer over to pick up a uh, implement from a dealer, but uh, Grant, if you don't know, he's just starting out, so he's way behind, so beans we actually have a trailer and everything, we're just going to go grab it ourselves. Alright, let's start taking off with this thing. There's our beautiful Dodge over there. I'm gonna have to get it into the shop, fix the brakes and the suspension on it. It's kind of annoying. I had to get out of the way of the Prius. Prius drivers are crazy. Definitely you don't want to get on the same road with them, we'll run you over. Alright, so we're gonna head over here. So the good thing about Grant's dealership is it's only right down the road. So we're gonna pull up here. Man, he doesn't even have a driveway yet. I guess he does have a tr semi down here. But anyways, he's busy uh, getting the bank loan and everything, so Grant isn't available. So he just said he would leave everything for us. All we have to do is uh, turn the key and uh, put it on the trailer. Man, I wonder if uh, Austin's over here. That dude almost lives over here. So here it is. 84R with a pro tail. So I think this is a 35 foot. It would A 40 foot would be a little bit big for a... Uh, 400 horsepower tractor, but still probably a little bit big for it, but I think it'll do all right around uh, our, these soils here. We're not, we're just not going to be able to go like six inches deep. We'll probably have to go only four. Anyways, oh, keys in it. There we go. So basically it's just like our 8370, uh, but this is a little bit more horsepower, so plan is to try to drive this, there we go. Alright, so we got it all hooked up now, so that, there is not much give right there, I mean, literally. Just a corner, so I hope I don't pop one of them tires by all that extra weight on there. But, looks pretty snazzy. So basically, it's about our same setup. We just have a pro till instead of the old technology of the Landall uh, vertical till. Don't know if that's really old technology, but the pro till is the new way farmers are going to. So this thing can really cover up that residue and chop it up because uh, tillage is getting sp more sparse and sparse around here. So the only thing we really have to do tillage around here is if we don't do tillage, we can't get into the field soon enough. So that is the reason we still till around here. So we gotta go nice and slow around his giant island the middle of this dealership so basically we are basically taking half of this stock right now thank you Grant but hopefully we'll have to see but the good thing is now we have some competition around really feel bad about for buck though because I like Buck, but don't know. Is Grant going to get him out of business? Can't say. So that's up to Platte Valley. We'll have to see what kind of deals Grant comes with. But business is business, even when it comes to buddies. So sorry, Buck. 
Hopefully you can withstand the storm. So we're just headed down here. The well, good thing is the implement's still on there. Uh, haven't popped a tire yet. I don't think it's quite holding as what it was when we put it on there, so... Really just shutting my eyes, hoping I make it all the way back. Just one last turn into our place. Alright, so we need to get this unhitched. Uh, there we go. Get this backed out of there. Probably could have left that running. So basically it looked like one of our tires fell off over here. So I was a little bit worried going down the road that we we're going to lose it. But everything stayed on. That's good. Start this up. Now here's the challenging part. Will we be able to get this off? Oh, look at that. Like a glove. So I I think I'm going to basically back this right up here, and then I think I'm going to call Jake and see if he needs help or not. So we will leave that back there, so we can just basically look at it, check it out. I think I'm going to park this uh, trailer tier too. Alright, so we're going to just basically park this. I think I'll leave it over here for tonight, and I'll drive it over in the morning. The semi that is to our dealership there we go oh also I need to pressure wash this thing off this is bothering me I had to get this thing washed off just a eyesore over here This thing nice and clean. See if we can uh, phone Jake over here and then. Hello. Hey, Jake. Hey, how's it going? Not bad. I drove by a couple of your fields. Looks like you are still planting. Yeah, I'm falling behind. <laughs> yeah, you need some help? That would be great, actually. Uh, I just finished planting... 44 acres here on the south side of county and uh, I've got the piece right next to my house which is probably another about 40 acres that I need to plant yet so if you're down to give me a hand that'd be great oh yeah no problem uh, do you need me to bring my rig over or just run one of yours what I think we could do um, if you're okay with it I'll let you run the co-op's 9RX with my DB90. And uh, then I'll go and I'll get the sprayer and I'll start spraying some of my fields. All right, I'm up to driving that new piece of equipment. All right, um, I, I might need to fill up with seed. And I've got a seed tender back in my place, so we'll try filling it up. Okay. There, I suppose. But yeah, I'll see you in a bit then. All right, yep, no problem. Alrighty. All right. Bit. Later. We're gonna head down and run Jake's new uh, 9RX or the co-ops, however you wanna, however you wanna think of it as. Dang, cars drive around here like they own the place. All right. Uh, I think Jake wanted me to meet him at his house. At least I believe so. I don't know if he's here right now or not. But I think, if nothing else, I can get his uh, seed tender ready. We will start running, getting that over so it can fill up the 9RX. Alright, so this has seed in it. So we will just... Uh, Man, this truck sounds good over here. Alright, so we will probably... Where's the best place to put it? Probably just put it right over here. 
and pipe out. I think he could just drive right underneath that then. Hey, Jake. Hey, um, so it, it might be a little dirty, but it'll get the job done. <laughs> yeah, you got a little bit of dust, I guess, flying. Yeah. Yeah, that's just from one field, which is crazy. Wow. But, um, yeah, there's seed in this tender, but, like, um, I've been having some issues, and I, I don't know, maybe you can figure it out, but when you grab the remote here and you try to activate the, the motor to run the auger here, yep. I cannot get that auger to activate. I don't know what the deal is with this tender. Um, I don't know if you have any tricks or any knowledge on these motor systems or anything, but... Yeah, let me see. All right, Jake, I guess I figured it out. So what uh, depth do you want me planting that at? Uh, depth should already be all set since I was just planting some soybeans. All right. Um, everything, everything, all the sprockets, everything is set for soybeans. It's all been converted over. Uh, you should have enough fertilizer in there to get you through that field, I think. I really don't remember. I didn't look at the tank, but it's running a uh, low application rate of about 100 liters per header acre, so should have plenty. All right. Sounds good. I'll get your truck out of the way here and uh, start seeding right away. Hey, you know All what's right. ironic? What? Is uh, this was like the first uh, thing I did when I came to Iowa was plant your field. It, it is that field exactly, isn't it? Yep, now I'm planting it again this year. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. Well, now you got a you got an upgrade to plant with this year. <laughs> yeah, that that other planter took me a while. That was a few rounds. Yeah, yeah. This one doesn't take too long at all. All right, so yeah. I'll I'll get to it. All righty. All right. I'm gonna get uh, over to the co-op and start spraying. So call okay. me if you need anything. All right, later. All right, so we are unfolding this giant thing. Actually, before we unfold this. Jake has to have a some type of a pressure washer around here. Something, right? Oh, there we go. So we are just gonna pressure wash this off. I don't know about him, but I cannot stand driving dirty equipment. How about you guys? Not I don't know, maybe I just have OCD about uh, equipment, but it has to be nice and clean for me, that's for sure. Right. Get that nice and clean, especially this new equipment. Got to keep it nice and pretty. So we are just planting along here, so the wheels don't take long to get dirty, that's for sure. Amazing how this brand new planter actually goes slower than my Kinsey. That's a little odd, I think, but oh well. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of articulating tractors, just never have been. It's kind of why I, ha I have the biggest, uh, basically, non articulated tractor John Deere makes right now. But they are coming out with a, a new one, a new, uh, what is it, 8RX, so that's be pretty cool. So hopefully somebody makes a mod and brings that into Farming Simulator so I can run it, so everyone can run it. We're planting in Jake's giant rig here. So if you see right here, good thing this thing has row shutoffs because it literally doesn't even fit between the fence and the road here. So if you see, we are overplanting the road right there. So good thing this thing has road shutoffs. This thing is a giant planter. It's too big for my fields, that's for sure. Get this running around. So this fence is awful close to this field. Especially right around this corner right here. I don't like this island right here, but don't like the fence. Because I'm afraid I'm going to break his equipment. And we're going along. Thank goodness this thing has real shutoffs because look at all the seeds you would waste.
just trying to get these little itty bitty uh, missed spots here. This thing is gigantic. So this is why they invented Roshadas for DB90s. Again, look. Roshadas really pay for themselves when you're using a DB90. Alright, this is our last strip basically. As long as I can keep over there far enough. Doing the wave in the field. This is our last little strip. And we get to fold this old girl up. Head home. Alright, let's see how this thing folds. Definitely is some dirt. Dirt hey. Pretty quick. This thing must have really quick hydraulics on it. Alright, so now all we have to do is pressure wash this off for Jake there. Jake could never say we didn't do anything for him. And then I'm tired. I'm going to go home, get some rest. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.